What's up everybody? Dustin from My Freedom Smokes here and today we are going to talk about just basic battery, basic battery stuff. So what I'm vaping on right now is my Patriot V2 on my IPV4S, 4S. And you might see this drip tip, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments, a lot of tweets asking me, like, where'd you get that drip tip? It's fantastic. I got it from the guys who make Straw Bunny, the Mr. Vape guys, you know, the juice I basically use in every video that I rave about. Love this stuff, you can tell I love it. Uh, Tommy at Mr. Vape, he makes these handcrafted drip tips right here. Uh, if you've seen the you know convention stuff like that, you've probably seen a ton of them, but that's beside the point. Here we are today, and we're going to talk about just you know basic batteries, the sizes, the differences in batteries, uh, battery safety, what to look for in like a damaged battery and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. Right here we have a, a small assortment. You know we have EFS, Vamped, a Sony, Samsung. You know a 26650 EFS and 18350 EFS, and then here I believe there were these are Sonys in here. You know two out of the box. You know not, not married, but you know uh, for the sake of you know this video, these are you know to be married batteries, and I'll get into that. Uh, all batteries, or you know, let's say not all, let's say most batteries are all chemically different. They're all going to, you know, the chemical, the chemical composition inside of them is uh, completely different in all batteries almost. Let's just say that, you know. So, you know, one battery might be safe in one way, one battery might not be safe in, you know, a different way. So, you know, that goes without saying. But, you know, like if, if you're using, um, just a random 18650 battery, you know, just an 18650, which is just the size of a battery. If you find a random one, it does not mean it's safe for vaping just because it says 18650. You have to check the amperage, you know, the voltage, you know, if it's high drain, you know, what type of battery it is, you know, the chemical safety of it. Uh, so, you know, basically right now you can trust brands and that, I, I hate saying that, but you know, you don't want to take apart a laptop and just pull something out of, you know, the battery pack. Most of them have 18650 rechargeable batteries in there. They're not safe for vaping. You put them in your mechanical mod with a low ohm build and you're going to get hurt. I'm just going to say that it, it, it's dangerous. You don't do that. So use safe batteries, you know, for example, the Sony's, the VTC 3s, 4s and 5s. We sell VTC 4s. Uh, we also have these Samsung's right here, the Vamped. In EFS. I've personally used all four of these batteries. Uh, I use them, you know, in rotation right now. I am using uh, just good old Sony VTC4s in here, but I use Samsung's on the reg. I have, you know, a married pair of Sony's for a certain box mod, a, another pair of married Samsung's for that same box mod, all marked, just because I don't want to confuse my batteries. So, you know, I keep them on rotation. Two are charging while I'm using the other two and switch uh, vice versa. What married means is, for example, I take these two batteries in here, you know, VTC4s, and the moment I take them out of the box, I immediately put them on the charger. What that does is they're charged the same amount of time, they're charged at the same time, and they're charged equally. So when I take them out, I only use these two batteries in conjunction, never separately, uh, never with a third battery in like another box mod. These two batteries are married, they're stuck side by side, and they're together forever. So if I put them in here, they go in here at the exact same time, I use them, and when I'm done using them, they go on the charger at the same time. I also recommend people, you know, with series box mods, you know, parallel also, it's good for all box mods, but more importantly, series box mods, you know, where the batteries are, you know, opposite, you know, one is positive up, positive down. Uh, for those, whenever, you know, you put one battery on the left, you put the other one on the right, the next time you use it after it's charged, switch it up. What that does is it puts the wear uh, evenly on these batteries, so they should wear down evenly, you know, instead of like, Maybe for some reason with the circuitry and the build inside this it puts damage on one battery a little much a little too much So when you switch it, you know, they're getting you know as equal as you can If You take one of these batteries and put it in a single mechanical mod you fire it and you use it for a while It's gonna put some strain on it So when you put it with its married buddy and you put them in a box mod, you know It's like this battery is a little bit more damaged than this one It just it spoils disaster get the best and the most out of your batteries by playing it safe hundred percent of the time so that being said, that's married batteries. That's good whether there's two batteries, three batteries, or four batteries. If you have an 18 battery box mod, whatever, marry those batteries and only use them for that device. So that's just you know a tip from me to you just for safety. Uh, battery size, you know, like I said, these are 18650s. We have an 18350 in here, which is probably a third the size of an 18650, maybe half. Uh, 26650, you know, which goes into, you know, bigger uh, mechanical mods, 26650 mods, your 28 millimeter, 30 millimeter, whatever mechanical mods, or, you know, your powerful box mods. 18650, run of the mill, most things use 18650. I would say 85, 90% of everything vaping related, uh, you know, nowadays would probably use 18650s if, if it's not, you know, like an ego thing or an internal battery or something like that. 
Uh, I don't really see 18350s that often anymore. Uh, you know, I haven't really used an 18350 since, you know, back during like when the 4.9 was extremely popular, the Nemesis mod was extremely popular, you know, and I would make, you know, tiny little stealth babes by, you know, removing the rings and uh, building down. But, you know, you can't like do something like stack 18350s to equal an 18650. Uh, some mods are made to stack batteries. Uh, I'm not talking about that right now. So what I'm gonna say is don't stack batteries. Uh, do not stack 18350s and make it fit an 18650. That spoils disaster. Uh, 18350s usually it's basically a size thing. They are not as po powerful. They don't have as much battery life. The amperage is usually lower. The voltage is usually lower uh, than an 18650 and a 26650. Whereas a 26650 has mostly the the greatest battery life of all the battery types, as far as I know at the moment. So. When it comes down to uh, like battery life, you usually choose a 26650. When it comes to stealth vaping, 18350s. When it comes to all around jack of all trades, 18650. So, you know, uh, with 18350s, you can't really build extremely low, especially, you know, because the amperage is low. So that is pretty dangerous. You know, you don't want to put like a 0.03 build on a 18350 mod. That puts an extreme amount of stress on these batteries. What you, I really recommend to new people is to download a battery safety and Ohm's law calculator on your smartphone or you know, find a website, Google Ohm's law calculator, find one, take your battery, get the specs on it, uh, the amperage, voltage, uh, you know, whether it's high drain, anything like that, type it in, uh, and then you it, fill in the variables and all that. You can get like the, uh, the lowest resistance you're able to build on that. I don't like to skirt close to that. If it says that you know, a 0.7 is the safest you could do, I'd recommend you build a 0.8. Uh, you know, that's you, that's, you know, what you do with these batteries is up to you. But, you know, hopefully this video helps anybody uh, new to batteries that are confused. There's so many on our website. Uh, basically, we've narrowed it down to these four right here, which are trusted batteries, the ones uh, we feel safe enough to sell to the public. We have confidence in these batteries. They've, you know, proven safe on the market. So hopefully this helps you guys into making a decision. And as always, I'm Dustin from My Freedom Smokes. Thank you for vaping.